and the crown of a good name surpasses them all. Hello guys, welcome to the Late Parasha Show. I bought it early to make a video, so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is legitimately hard to find a quiet spot here in Crown Heights. Okay, this is going to be a very short one, but let me just start it by dedicating this video to my dear friend, Mayor, on the occasion of your chasana, Mayor and Shlomit. May you guys have all the blessings in the world. May you build a home based on the foundation of Torah and Mitzvah Chassidus. And may you have all the brachis mentioned in this week's parsha in the way that it's mentioned in this week's parsha that all these brachis will catch up to you. And they'll overtake you. You won't have to pursue prosperity, chase prosperity. Rather, God will throw all good things in your direction, right at you. Baruch pri vitnecha. Blessed will be your children. Once again, we are learning two chapters of Avais this week. And in the second one... Okay, you know what? Let me not make this video more confusing than it has to be. Rabbi Shimon says there are three crowns the crown of Torah, the crown of priesthood, and the crown of royalty. And then he finishes the statement by saying, and the crown of the crown of this mosquito is about to cease to exist. I, I meant this mosquito is about to cease to exist. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't wearing a crown. But anyways, he finishes by saying, and the crown of a good name surpasses them all. And that's actually just a translation, surpasses, that it's greater than the others. But in the original, it's Eila al Gabayan, which would be best literally translated as Best I can do is rises above them, rises on top of them. Now, each of these three crowns can mean many different things, but just to keep it quick, the crown of Torah is obviously, you know, a vast knowledge of Torah. The crown of priesthood is as Aaron, the priest, would pursue peace, right, and love peace, etc., as we learned in the first chapter of Abbas. The crown of priesthood is someone who is constantly and effectively loving his fellow. And by his fellow, I mean also her fellow. And by fellow, I mean fellows, not just one fellow. And the crown of royalty is someone who is constantly awaiting and anticipating King Mashiach, right? This is royalty, the king. Someone who is in Mashiach mode. But then again, he finishes with saying the crown of a good name is above them all, which is strange because he said that there are three crowns Taira, priesthood, royalty. But apparently there's another one called good name and it's surpassing them all. Well, this is where the literal translation kicks in. It is above them all. It is from them all. When one is invested in the knowledge of Taira, gaining more knowledge of Taira and has so much knowledge of Taira, when one is invested in loving one's fellow, and when one is constantly anticipating Mashiach's arrival, this leads automatically to a good name for this person. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good name. I hope you have a good Shabbos. And I hope Mashiach comes before this video airs. Get in Mashiach mode. Get excited. Get pumped. All right? Let's increase in love, joy, terror study, mitzvahs. Because that's what's up.